Hello, my very dear audio friends around the world. I'm Paul. This is my humble studio, Warsaw Poland, and my humble YouTube channel, a place where we talk about music mixing, mastering, sound design, game audio, and more. Guys, I discovered a crazy thing on YouTube just today. There's just one video comparing analog and virtual versions of Mini Freak, and they come so close you can edit both using VST plugin so that you can create same presets same filter sweeps and stuff and nobody compared them like why and i think it's good to compare them because this one hardware one has got a an analog filter while of course digital has got a virtual digital filter so is there any difference between mini freak hardware and software and does analog filter matter as i like to believe for example mini freak is a perfect synthesizer to check it out. So let's go. Of course, if you think my audio madness makes any sense, consider subscribing right here. Consider getting notified, like this vid and comment on it so that we have one more discussion. Let's go. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I created a short loop using sounds coming only from Mini Freak, both uh, hardware and software, and also a kick. And it goes like this. I know, nothing too special, still needs a lot of work, especially, I think, in the bass department. But the point is not to produce it fully, not to mix it fully, but the point is to compare Mini Freak uh, software and hardware. And it's really easy to compare these two one-to-one, -one because when you press this link to Mini Freak, uh, you can edit both the plugin and the hardware at the same time and they share absolutely same one-to-one -one synth engine. The only difference is that the hardware, as I said, has got an analog filter, while there's a digital filter on a software version. And I do believe that it should make some difference. So what I did is that I created first my sounds using a software version, I did a quick pre-mix, like using a couple of plugins, sidechains and stuff, and I did mastering-like section here, but it was really quick, like 15 minutes, minutes altogether. I think it's enough. And then I didn't even have to copy anything to the Mini Freak. I just opened same presets, and I recorded the content coming from my hardware Mini Freak, and I used exactly same plugins, same gain matching, exactly one-to-one -one pre mixing So I've got two absolutely same, virtually identical versions. I haven't heard them both. And what I will do now is that I will put my bass, my pad, my arpeggio, let's say, and my steps here. And I will put, of course, blind test so that I will listen to the instruments separated, analog versus hardware, and then, of course, I rendered both premixes, VST and hardware premix, and at the very end, we will listen to this to judge finally, is there really any difference between hardware and software, and is, them, is, is this analog filter on Mini Freak hardware a thing at all? Is analog really so good? And I'm somehow into it. Yes, that's true. That's my topic recently. Because I do think I started really re recognizing some crucial differences between analog and digital. And very slowly and surely I'm starting to become a fan of uh, analog in, in some domains like filtering and saturation. I have to have at least one filter and when one is saturating uh, analog units in the studio for, for a couple of years now. And anyway, guys, let's get right into it. And let's load Hofa blind test on our bass. And I will be listening using my Neumann and the H30, which are really cool for hearing out some very meticulous details hidden out there. So let's open our test. 
Let's close it so that we have no hints. And let's play! That's not too difficult, I think. I mean, I don't know whether uh, the hardware is noisier than the plugin because you can uh, create same noise with the plugin. Why not? But the second one is dirtier. It's like a bit rounder, while number one is kind of like seriously very clinical, very clean. Of course, there is some overdrive and chorus, but it's very like, very precise, very clinical, while, while the second one is simply more organic. And my bet is that the second one is hardware and the first one is software or VST. Let's see how wrong I was. No, I wasn't wrong at all. And I have a feeling it wasn't too difficult to guess, though I heard, uh, I didn't hear them side by side using my Neumanns. I premixed this using KSDs. I took a break, so like I've got really a fresh ear for this. So I think it's a fair test. And seriously, I was all into number two. And now I created a pad and I think that differences of on this pad are going to be minimal if any For me, they are identical. There's no difference. They are rather quiet, no transients, no low-end content. So it's very hard to say which one is which. I feel no difference and I'm not going to make a guess uh, right now. Okay, VST hardware. Fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have no preference here, absolutely. And I'll move to next layer, which is my arpeggio. And here, it should get a bit different, I believe. Again, I'm quite sure this is hardware, while this is software, because the first version is rounder. It's better glued, it's more consistent, it's, I don't know, more organic, and there is difference, uh, as for me, and I will, yes, 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 exactly. There is difference. Maybe it's... Uh, bit more dirty, a bit more gritty, this analog one. And I'm happy to learn that there is a difference. And now comes mm, the stab, mm, or the stabs, because there are four of them. And same story, of course. Let's make it a blind test. Thank you. 
number one is hardware. Maybe it's easier because there's a tiny bit more noise on this second, like, square-shaped stab, or maybe not. But again, number one is maybe it's not that clinical. Maybe uh, some low-mid frequencies are not that well sketched out uh, and they are glued together. I The sound exists more as a whole, I would say, if I may say so. And the second one is software. And yes, it is. So yeah, again, I'm happy to learn that there is difference between hardware and software. Mm, mini freak, but now comes the ultimate test. Because yeah, separate instruments. Now you're not gonna hear all the noise um, out there when you glue it all together. That's not gonna be so distinctive and probably it's gonna be harder to guess which one is which but maybe still possible. Let's go! I can stop because easily I can tell you that number one is hardware. Uh, because maybe it's not, uh, the frequencies, as I said, are not that well, maybe separated, but it's rounder, it's warmer somewhere in the lows, though the mix is one to one exactly the same. The gain staging is extremely precise on both. And I do like version one more. It's more pleasant to listen. It acts like a, a, as a whole. Mm, it acts more as music, not as mm, I don't know. Okay, I don't have to listen to it anymore because I already know that number two is hardware. Because there is a difference also here, maybe not so much in the detail, but in the whole picture of things. The premix is glued together better with this analog filter and like, guys, kill me. But I hear it absolutely and I'll, I like this version more. It behaves more as a whole. It behaves like organic music, while version number one is really very fine, but it's very clean, very clinical, and it lacks a bit of life, I would say, though the premix is absolutely the same, remember? So number one would be software, number two would be hardware, and I didn't expect this test to be that easy. I hoped for some more differences and stuff, and yes, I mean, it was so obvious that huh, nothing more to say, right? Should we sum the things up, maybe? <laughs> yeah, so guys, this question gets back to me like, nobody seriously compared analog and digital filters of Mini Freak and the character of both synths? while being able to tweak the presets both on hardware and software at the same time? Like, why? Anyway, I'm happy that I decided to do it and I'm happy to share the results with you and I'm really happy to own this thing because there is difference and I think you could also hear it because it was really quite obvious and Mini Freak is a good example of analog filter having its advantages over digital filter, I believe. And generally, analog circuitry that's there that adds some grit, maybe noise, maybe non-linearities and stuff. So, all the hardware users, you're lucky guys having this, and all the software users, if you're considering 
upgrading to hardware, I believe it does make sense, my friends. And that's it for today. And I hope you liked it, and I hope you're gonna discuss things with me down below. Hear you soon, guys.